everyone. Myself, Dr. Pradeep Kumar MR, working as assistant professor in the Department of Pharmaceutical Chemistry of Kelly College of Pharmacy, Hubli. Today, along with my uh, students, I will be giving you the demonstration with respect to determination of serum cholesterol. So, for determining the amount of serum cholesterol present, so we are making use of a method that is Lieberman Butcher method. This Lieberman Butcher method involves use of the chemicals which will help in identifying the concentration of the cholesterol present in a particular serum sample what we have taken. So in this method what we are following is we are taking the serum sample of the patient and we are treating with the alcohol acetone mixture. So when the serum undergoes a reaction with the alcohol acetone mixture the cholesterol and other lipids which are present in that will get dissolved in that whereas the proteins and other things will get precipitated later we are going to collect only that alcohol acetone mixture and we are going to evaporate it so after the evaporation we are going to get the dry product this dry product we are going to add into the chloroform we are going to extract it from the chloroform further this particular um, whatever the dried compound what we are getting so this uh, compound we are going to treat it with the uh, stick anhydride in in and self concentrated sulfuric acid so when the reaction takes place there is a formation of bluish green color why this bluish green color is produced this is because of the reaction which has resulted in the conversion of hydroxy group present in the cholesterol which gets converted to ester moiety so here nothing but an esterification type of reaction takes place where the uh, ester form of the cholesterol gets generated. So this is the principle, basic principle involved in that. So we will be taking the blank standard as well as the test samples and we are going to calorimetrically estimate the samples at 620 nanometer based on the intensity of the color produced it gives us the information by putting it in the formula we can calculate and we can get to know what is the concentration of the serum cholesterol in the given sample now i will call upon my student to demonstrate the experiment for you people hello everyone myself kavya eshwan savasi thank you sir giving me this opportunity Today I am going to perform the determination of serum cholesterol aim to carry out the determination of serum cholesterol for the given sample. Let's focus on the apparatus. What we used in this experiment are measuring cylinder, glass rod, test tube, test tube stand. Reagents are used here. Ferric chloride solution reagent, serum sample, standard cholesterol solution and concentrated sulfuric acid. Let start the procedure and label the three test tube as a name, test, standard and blank. In, in standard test tube, we should add 5 ml of standard cholesterol solution and in blank test tube, we should add 5 ml of ferric chloride solution. In test test tube, we should add 5 ml of serum sample. And in blank test tube, we should add 5 ml of ferric chloride solution. And and in each test tube, we should add 3 ml of concentrated sulfuric acid. and stir with glass rod. After stirring and keep it aside for 10 minutes to develop the color and read the optical density of test and standard solution at 560 nanometer against blank. 
after directing the color read the optic density of test and standard for against 560 nanometer at calorimeter okay read the optical density of test solution and read the optical density of standard solution.